Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make barbecue grilled chicken. I cannot believe I have never shared this recipe with you before, but might as well, right? Let's take advantage of the grill. Although if you're anything like me, you grill when there's snow on the ground. Nothing stops me when I'm craving barbecue chicken. So let me take you over a few of the ingredients so far. What I have here are some bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks. I'll talk about this in just a minute. I've got some salt-free steak seasoning, salt, and a little olive oil. This is barbecue grilled chicken, but you're going to need to turn your oven on to 400. And let me explain to you why. When you're working with a bone-in cut of meat, and it's, you know, quite a, a big size, you want to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked through. So if you're not a grill master and understand how to make sure something is cooked without putting it on direct heat because it'll cook too much on the outside and it won't cook enough on the inside. So you have to make sure part of your grill is on the indirect heat. If you're using charcoal, that makes things really complicated and I just don't have time or patience for that. So this is the method that I have found that makes perfect barbecue grilled chicken that ensures that the inside of your chicken is fully cooked. It's juicy to perfection, but you still have all that caramelized outside that we love from traditional barbecue grilled chicken. If you're using chicken breasts that are boneless and skinless and thin, you don't need to do this. You can just put them on the grill and then when it's time to glaze them, you glaze them with the barbecue sauce. But this is safe. This is the best way I found to do it. It's perfect. So, to, and I don't care that it's overcrowding my pan because this is not for color. This is just to get everything cooked through. I like a little olive oil, not much. Whoa, that one got a little bit more. And then I like some salt-free steak seasoning. This has got coriander in it, it's got uh, peppercorns, lots of fabulous things, got granulated garlic, onion, just beautiful flavor. And it's also a little spicy as well from all the peppercorn, which really goes well against really sweet barbecue sauce. Now, I'm gonna use barbecue sauce that I already have on hand. If you have a store-bought favorite or if you like to make your own, I've got a great recipe on my website. It's a barbecue sauce I've been making for years and years and it just it's a hit every time, so you can use that. And then some salt. And now I'm just gonna pop this into the oven, top rack, for about 35 minutes or so until they're fully cooked through. My chicken was in the oven for 30 minutes. Now at this point, you wanna make sure that your grill, whether it be charcoal or gas, is really nice and hot on high heat. And what you wanna do is you wanna take the chicken from the roasting pan and put it directly on the hot grill, kind of bottom side down, so that it starts to creating some grill marks. And then at that point, you can start brushing on your barbecue sauce. And then every time you brush some barbecue sauce on, let that cook for a few minutes and then flip it, and then do the other side, flip it, other side, and you just keep going until you basically layer on as much barbecue sauce as you'd like. Make sure you leave some barbecue sauce to the side because we are going to brush on some barbecue sauce when these come off the grill. Just understand that at this point there's no cross-contamination. The chicken is fully cooked. There's no worrying about whether or not the barbecue sauce is going to be contaminated. It is good to go. Now that is my idea of the perfect barbecue grilled chicken. You can see, which I think is really important when it comes to barbecue uh, grilled chicken, I need that crust because brown, you know, uh, ketchup, I was gonna say, the barbecue sauce has sugar in it and sugar kind of caramelizes and burns a little bit. So it creates this beautiful kind of crust everywhere and that just lends to that smoky flavor. Now what I've done is I did three layers on each side of barbecue sauce. Just make sure that you only let it cook for 30 minutes, for 30 minutes, 30 seconds on each side when you put the barbecue sauce on because it will burn, especially if your grill is really hot. Because remember, there's sugar in the barbecue sauce and you don't want to burn it and then have a burnt flavor. And then right before they came out on the very top, I brushed a little extra barbecue sauce and that is it. But like I said, you can put on as much or as little as you want. Look how tender the meat is, look. It falls apart and it's fully cooked. Look, I want this piece right here because I am just a fan of that crust on the outside. I'm just gonna borrow some barbecue sauce from its neighbor. To me, that's what barbecue chicken should be. Juicy on the inside. I prefer a bone in, although you can do boneless, skinless. Just grill it until it's fully cooked through then brush your barbecue sauce on. Otherwise, it'll be burned on the outside before the, ins the inside's actually cooked. And that is it. 
I hope that you give this recipe a try. Girl Laura in the kitchen for the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions. You do need to give this a try if you love barbecue chicken. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.